I butcher this name. It looks like Diolis to me. So Frank is the winner. Uh, we got Starkey and Muller coming up next. I will be out tonight hanging out uh, at our pals at Jurgles and Cranberry Warrendale. My favorite band in the world is playing Rick Jurgles. Uh, band Father Time, Drew Martyr, I could listen to him sing forever, Joe, Joe Monroe, uh, Bacardi. I mean, these guys are just great, great musicians. And uh, if you're in the area tonight, maybe after the game, please stop by and say hello. I'll be there to uh, – we had such a fun time out there the other day, didn't we, Eric? Yes. I mean, uh, Eric wasn't there. Andrew? Yeah, well, Eric didn't get the invitation. He did not. He I was wasn't uh, right here. Worthy That's enough for Cook's right. Corner. But you missed a great time. He did. We had a blast out there, and as always, Rick Jurgel does everything first class, and that was indeed. One more prediction before we adjourn. When we come back, at least I'll be here Monday. You'll be down in Atlanta for that four game set with the Braves. Right. I go from Carolina Sunday night to Atlanta Monday. Will we be talking about a Pirates sweep, taking two out of three? Or the Brewers winning the series? Give me your quick thoughts here on Brewers I think, Pirates. I think the Pirates take two out of three and all but eliminate Milwaukee. I'm going to go Milwaukee. They win, especially two especially out if of they three. win tonight, then you really got to like their chance. I'm going to go Milwaukee wins tonight and Sunday. Pirates take the middle game, and the Brewers still have ground to make up in the last the Pirates week. still be in a great spot. All right. Thanks to everybody out there listening. Have a great Friday night, Pittsburgh. Enjoy the great sports you have coming your way this weekend. Thanks to Joe Kopp for producing. We really appreciate it, but most of all, thanks to you out there. It is now time for an update powered by Bowser Nissan. As I turn over the microphone to the one and only Eric Hagman, and it's he's the best in the business, Eric. I got. I understand you're going to be talking a little bit about this series that's going to be ongoing at PNC Park this weekend. Yeah, why not? Let's call it what it is. The most important series of the season for the Pirates and, and for the Brewers tonight. The first of three at PNC Park with the first pitch at 7.05 here on the fan. Pirates own a three-and-a-half game lead in the wild card race thanks to winning 11 of their last 13. They've won four straight, so they're going to try for the seventh time this season to put together a five-game streak. Jeff Locke starts opposite Giovanni Gallardo. Bucks broadcaster John Wainer told Cook and Pouty he softened his feelings about the Brewers. It doesn't get under my skin that much, uh, although I'm not, you know, I don't, they don't bother me as much now as they did when they were pulling their shirts out and, you know, walking the walk, which I guess they deserve to because they were the class of the league and they abused Panthers the Pirates. need to go to the air against a good run defense, so be it. We were running the ball, so haven't had much need for the passing game except for a little change up you know so to this point that's kind of where we're at but you know i'll be ready if we have to change that up it is three and oh iowa two and one tickets are still available at 412-648-PITT or at pittsburghpanthers.com penn state puts its three and oh record on the line against umass a pretty busy day for Coach James Franklin, who arrived in Pittsburgh at 5 a.m. and dialed up the fan morning show. I'm going to fly back for practice. I'm going to fly back to Pittsburgh after practice and come to some games tonight. So it's going to be a full day, but these are the type of things that you have to do when you're trying to build a program um, you know, that's got a chance to be competitive, not only in the Big Ten, but nationally. One of those games tonight, Woodland Hills and Baldwin. And West Virginia will entertain fourth-ranked Oklahoma tomorrow night in Morgantown. I have another update in 220. Starkey and Muller. Hello, Pittsburgh fans. The all-new North Hills Toyota Zion is proud to sponsor the Starkey and Muller Show. Home run savings in effect. While groundbreaking begins at North Hills now. Sports Radio 93.7 The Fan, Pittsburgh's hometown sports station. Starkey and Muller Sports Radio 93.7 The Fan. We're brought to you by North Hills Toyota Scion and live from PNC Park. We're brought to you by the Cambridge Suites Pittsburgh and Family House. Consider supporting Family House today. 412-928-9370 is the phone number. Email is always welcome via the dollar bank inbox. 937thefan.com. Mr. Ryan Bailey on site here. Mr. Craig Riley back at the studio. Mr. Joe Starkey, his usual pensive wreck of an emotional human being self, sitting right next to me. I'm Chris Muller. Greetings and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. How are you? I'm, I'm great, Joe. 
I'm, I'm very good. I was. I appreciated the, the team building exercise that you engaged <laughs> us in. You brought a frisbee today. Right. You're playing it right out here in front of the stadium. That was right. large. I, you know what? I requested one of those from our promotions director, Kayla. I saw her put a little picture on Instagram of a new prize closet. I said, I need a frisbee. There was a frisbee waiting in my mailbox today. I said, I'm going to take this down to my friend Joe, the emotionally unstable human being that I spend almost every day with, more time than almost any human being on earth with, and I'm going to play Frisbee with him. I appreciate that. I'm psyched. This is great. Beautiful day. Perfect blue skies. Pennant race baseball. This place will be packed. You said weird story, Joe, and it's not Pirates related. We'll have Bob walk down here at 420. We have an unbelievable interview for you at 4 o'clock with Kenech Udesi. He is a the assistant strength and conditioning coach at Pitt. You say, okay, guys, so what's the deal there? All you all tell you is you want to hear this guy's story about being a former first-round pick in the NFL and then kind of the gut punch that he got in real-life terms. We've also got the Roger Goodell press conference at 3. We're going to carry it live. Pat Bostic at 240 for the biggest game of the Pitt season on the schedule so far. That's Iowa. Pitt trying to go to 4-0. And yet, with all that going on... <laughs> With all that swirling, here's Todd Haley riding in on his not so, you know, not quite a not white plane. horse. He's not riding in on a plane. That's right. He's not riding in on a plane. Here comes Todd Haley stuck in bumper to bumper trying to get to the airport, usurping the headlines from everybody else. This is unbelievable. On Pro Football Talk, Todd Haley missed the Steelers' flight to Baltimore last week. Apparently, Mike Florio, who, as you know, runs that site, was hearing from multiple sources that this was true, and he confirmed it with the Steelers. And he goes on to say uh, his absence on the flight was noticed. <laughs> I'm sure it was when your offensive coordinator is not on the flight, and it was regarded as, quote, unusual. That's what the team told him. A little bit unusual for, for one of your top lieutenants to not be on the flight, but more than unusual, this is unbelievably unprofessional. It really is. I mean, I mean, a guy who got baked for, for a preseason game made it to a flight, but one of your coaches can't make it to this thing? Todd Haley's from here, too. It's not like he doesn't know the traffic patterns on a given day going to the airport. It's not like you've got some guy who came from Cheyenne, Wyoming. He said, I, I have no idea what the Parkway West is like. He's An from emergency, a family emergency would be one thing, obviously, right? He, he didn't even try traffic, to go that route, though. Traffic is not an excuse. Hey, I almost was late for a show once down here at PNC Park, essentially, because of dog, gridlock traffic. And the dog ate my playbook. This <laughs> yeah. is ridiculous. This is, this is bad, and it's funny because the first dynamic when he got here was he's never played the game. Why should he coach? And, and he and Ben Roethlisberger didn't get along. That seems to have gone away for the most part. You don't see much sniping from either guy to the other, which there was a ton of. Snoop, and yet Snoop Dogg ate my homework. Right. And yet Todd Haley can't keep his nose out of the headlines for all the wrong reasons it's if we hold players to a high standard for this kind of thing and we crush them then you you only have no choice but to crush todd haley and as florio points out at the end of the story joe he writes this perfect paragraph at the end probably because it is unusual members of the coaching staff don't ordinarily miss team flights in this specific case haley was fortunate that the game was fairly close via car if this isn't in Baltimore, or if it was not in Cleveland, Cincinnati, which are your other, in Philly maybe, drivable cities, the Redskins, if you want to go with that one, what does Todd Haley do? Quickly hop on the first commercial flight to that city? I mean, he's lucky. Unprofessional. That's what it is. Like I said, like Eric Blunt made it to the, to the flight to, what was it, Philly they were going to? Yeah, There's he, a guy, got, he, he got on a commercial right. flight and, and just got himself there. Yeah, a guy baking on McKnight Road made it there. I, I think this guy could make it who's lived in Pittsburgh for a lot of his life. This is, why are there so many weird stories around this guy? They, they, you know, they, they sue McDonald's for a rat in their salad. They, they, they're accused, <laughs> they're accused. hold on, second. hold on. They're, they're, think of that, say, okay. You're talking about that, a pro football former head coach. Boy, a lot of weird stories with this former head coach in the NFL. Sued for a rat in his salad. There's no, a, no, no, he sued McDonald's I know, he sued for a rat in his salad. Yeah. No, he, you want to get the rat right. The way you're the way you're making it sound is that he sued because there was no rat he in sued this the rat. This and is that, this guy's unbelievable. The offices apparently were bugged in Kansas City. Maybe that's true since Scott Pioli was, was kind of odd. That one I actually believe. To okay, an but but still they, odd. And then you have 
the the whole thing about defacing a how luxury home that they were in allegedly they were accused whatever happened with that lawsuit i don't know like, they, they like all the other todd haley stuff it kind of disappears into a little bit of the mist and the mystique that is todd haley and their excuse was spiders had infested that <laughs> I, I don't even know I, I still don't know what that story was about and i don't know where it went it's just one weird story. Then he had the, the people approach him in the hotel bar before a game. Remember that one? Uh-huh. Wasn't that last, maybe two years ago? I don't know. I know. And, and he wrote on the napkin, go Steelers, Chiefs suck, which was actually tremendous. I actually like Todd Haley, believe it or not. I, I've been around him a little bit. Crosby said little about the injury, just work it out. So, uh, yeah, last couple of days, so I think uh, hopefully it's not anything that I'm going to have to miss any time with. So, it's, uh, it's going well. Evgeny Malkin did not go on the ice. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell speaks within the hour. He is to hold a press conference at 3. You can hear it here on the fan. The Steelers list guard Ramon Foster is questionable for Sunday's game at Carolina. Nose tackle Steve McClendon and receiver Lance Moore are probable. Panthers receivers Jericho Cotri and Jason Avant are both listed as questionable. It's Pitt in Iowa tomorrow at noon from Heinz Field. We'll begin our pregame coverage at 9 o'clock. With updates every 20 minutes, I'm Eric Hagman on the home of the Pirates in Pitt, KDKAFL. You're listening to the Starkey and Muller Show, sponsored by the all-new Northville Toyota Scion. Boy, it's hot out here. Plus, the red-hot savings at Northville's are sizzling. Find out more at NorvilleToyota.com. Sports Radio 93.7 The Fan, Pittsburgh's hometown sports station. Man, the Pittsburgh Steelers need a new f***ing offensive coordinator. This guy sucks. Coach Tomlin, this is Snoop Dogg, man. Fire that mother and get us a real offensive coordinator. We ain't won a playoff game since we had this f***, man. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. It never, ever, ever gets old. Starkey and Muller live from PNC Park and brought to you by the Cambria Suites Pittsburgh and Family House. Consider supporting Family House today on Sports Radio 93.7. The fan Snoop Dogg. Let's just replay that the rest of the show. I, it really would probably do better than we would, ratings-wise. I still think my favorite part, I, forget, I think it was Colin that pointed this out, uh, that he identifies himself to Mike Tomlin as Snoop Dogg, as if just no, I, in case. I thought it was the Federal Reserve Chairman hitting me up about this. The fact that he IDs himself and then just a little subtle. You know how you meet people that can't swear? I think there was a whole episode of a show or a com uh, comedian does his like uh, act about this. Guys that can't swear convincingly. There are people that just sounds forced. Bruce Boudreaux, remember that? He couldn't swear on 24-7 the right way. He, it was like he was shoehorning words in. Snoop, it just comes out nice and smooth, and he doesn't like Todd Haley, and a lot of people don't like Todd Haley in this town. And he's given them more reason, Joe, not only with the offense being lackluster the last six quarters, but with these bizarre incidents that occasionally crop up. And if we weren't so focused on domestic violence issues in the league and the Steelers just not being very good right now and being in, in maybe semi-panic mode about them, just a weird thing. How do you, You're a guy that's born in Upper St. Clair. You know this area better than most of the people on this team and in this franchise because you actually were raised here. He is from here. And you give, I'm stuck in traffic with my wife, can't make the team flight, will drive to Baltimore.